Hello, welcome back to another Thief 2 fan mission. Uh, this time, it's Bad Debts. Um, once again, this doesn't have an introductory briefing, so I will go back to the notepad to read it. Sometimes you're so down on your luck, you have to take the smallest job, grab the slightest opportunity to stay afloat. I suppose it's better than picking pockets on stone market, or breaking into warehouses. But when I moved into down lock quarter, at least I imagined I was going somewhere. An apartment in an old fortress, right across a watch station where no one would look for suspected criminals, and a series of nice heists. I almost forgot about the ominous stuff the keepers were sending me. Guess they still think I'm going to change my mind about their order. Unfortunately, money has become tight lately. My landlord, a greasy little opportunist, found out about my trade in a moment of carelessness. Now the rent has doubled and he is constantly dropping hints about the risks of sheltering one of my kind. What's more insulting, he now fancies himself an art collector, buying precious objects from the bonus he extorts from me. For all I know, he may be buying stuff I stole myself. Even with all the shortages, he drinks the best wine, regularly dines at a fancy nearby establishment. He's a thief like me. Better, better one. Little risk, steady income. While a few months ago I was thinking of establishing a nice little retirement fund, I now owe him money, more than I could get with a few nights of thieving. In these circumstances, even a job from Tim's, a diminutive and high-strung chap who gives others tips for a cut of the profits, was a godsend. Tim's had given me wrong tips before, and after the last one involving a supposed coin-stamping business operated by some rich notable, I refused to waste more time and money on his promises. This time, at least, the offer seems genuine. Apparently, a rich usurer going by the name of Marcus has lent little Timsey more money than he could conveniently pay back, and he wants his letter of debt stolen before the guy can collect. Appears easy enough. Marcus lives in a rambling old house right here in Downlock Quarter, and although the front gate, front gate guard is heavy, there seem to be other ways in, through a store by the canal, or a balcony overlooking a statue of the master builder. While I'm out, I might as well visit the neighbourhood for some easy lucre. The people living here in Downlock may not be the richest, but at least they don't have enough to spend on serious security measures outside of joining a protection racket. The best place to start is Short Lane, just next to my apartment. I have a friend who can let me in after sundown for a few coins. It would be nice to get out of debt, and maybe keep that letter for myself afterwards. The idea of other people providing me with regular income looks more and more appealing. Alright, well, let's check out the hard difficulty. Tim says his letter of debt is held by Marcus, a wealthy usurer. Find an entrance into the usurer's house, and recover the letter. There's bound to be more than enough loot in Downlock Quarter, help yourself to at least 1800. Don't kill any unarmed people. When your other objectives have been accomplished, leave down what quarter. Bump up to expert. Uh, we just get a higher loot. 2400. Nothing else changes. Alright, so I'm gonna go on hard as usual. Right, uh, a tip. Yeah, sure. Uh, always interesting to see what they have. I'm going to need health, I'm sure, even though I've already got one. What else? I have escapes. Escaping tools are good. Public works key. An associate swipe this key from a drunk and offers it at an advantageous price. It costs 50. Well, we're going to be collecting at least 1800, right? So I can spend all the money I had to start with. It's an investment. You got to spend money to make money. Or you got to spend money to get the tools to steal money, in this case. Right, uh, what arrows, I don't know how many I'm going to use, but four never seems like enough if I end up with a situation where I need to use them, because I, for whatever reason, I've been missing a lot lately with my wood arrows, which is silly. Ten broadheads is good though, let's just fill up on wood arrows. Alright, we've got two is two flash bombs for escape, two healing potions for when I fail to escape, and so on and so forth. Alrighty, uh, well, we're gonna start in a nice dark corner, that's always good. Let's have a look at the map. Stone Market, High Town, Down Lock, Lower Locks, Beggar's Take. Alright, so, uh, hmm. There's a user's house in the northeast. I'm not really sure where I'm, maybe I'm here? Short Lane. Oh yeah, home turf, stop court. So lots of streets just to explore here. Um, loot as we head round to the northeast. 
Oh, the hammers have a place right here. Tomlinson, heavy guard. Uh, no entry to this place? Question mark. Surely there's going to be an entry to that place. Abandoned area, reported closed. Balcony. Uh, front, heavily guarded. Larger works area. Oh yeah, these are works. This, that's the real public works suitable, I guess, for sewers or whatever. Alrighty. Um, hmm. I'm guessing I want to generally scout around and see what there is to see. I don't. I'm not really expecting any twists from this mission, so I'll probably try and head up around here. Um, what does this say? Tim's lives here. Okay. Maybe then back down this way. Uh, just to check what, check out these routes and then come around the south. Might detour up to there as well. That's kind of my idea. Whether it works or not is another question. Let's get my uh, compass out. Oh, we're facing south. Yeah, well, we'll find out where we are in a minute. Oh, here's a public workstation already. We can definitely get in there. Oh, what's that tip? What's that tip? I should read that. Word is that a certain taverner on Wellman Street has grown fat and wealthy on the merchants who deal in the low courts, and was seen drinking from fine golden cups when customers were scarce. It's also said the man is involved in dark espionage and accordingly reimbursed by powers best left undiscussed. Wellman Street, huh? That sounds, uh, underwhelmans. Got a pile of flares. I don't need them, but you know, doesn't take them. It's not pinned down. Plumhands, I received a bunch of these new lighters from the department, and sure enough, they're a waste of good money. Get this, they each cost 40 and usually burn for such an abominably short time that once you light one, you'd better start fishing for another already. And the light, there's nothing close to a decent lantern, or even those torches the poor buggers in the lower locks must endure. If at least they could be used to light things proper. But no, that's out, because once the damp gets into them, good luck trying to accomplish anything. I wonder who's the wise guy who came up with the idea, or how much he slipped to the paper pushers to get it approved. I bet they'll be peddling off this crap to gullible taffers by the box full in a year. Better yet, the glance in charge of the department will stick a lit one down a burrow to check for gas leaks. I'd pay to see that. Grime. P.S. Moriarty was around this afternoon, whining as usual about the way the network and downlock is organised. And again, I couldn't make sense of his fancy talk. Do me a favour and look him up to fix whatever he wants done this time. I left you my spare key at the station. Use it if you need to. Or actually just forget him. He's gone to talk with that guy about the underground power station. And I'm sure by the time he comes back it'll be too late anyway. Alright, well there's a spare key somewhere. Here's what I learned from that, but I probably don't need a spare key because I've got one. Oh, hello. And with a sword, huh? Um, I saw a ladder here. That goes up. They're cramped and stuff in the corner here. <laughs> Alright, okay. Just the street lighting. Although... I reckon I can climb on those, uh... Across those roofs, if, if I can make the jump. Yep. Didn't hear me, did you, Mr. Man with the sword? Try it again. Didn't hurt myself after all. So here, I get a better run up, I think, although I don't know if there's any collision on that. Oh, there is. Can I get up here? No, I can't. Ah, it's too steep. Oops. Well, I guess I could have stayed on the ledge. Alright, which way did I say I was going? I said I was going to go around to north. Okay. Water spilling in the drain. There's some suspicious wood. What's up there? Looks like something up there. Let's try climbing. Oh, balls. Did I miss that? Oh, is that not, is that not actually wood? That would be stupid. Let's just try broadhead in the beam proper. Actually, let's take a closer look. 
looks like wood. Yeah, that's wood. What was I hitting then? Alright. Ah, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, let's take that arrow. Not that one. Yeah, I can... Hmm. Don't need my rope to come back down or I'm just going to fall off the edge. Certainly can't put it back in, but I don't think I can... I don't know if I can grab it. I'll leave it for now. Uh, if I need it. I'll try coming back for it. Ooh. Some... Unlock. The window's unlocked. The nightly visitor and other lurid tales. Also, it is exceedingly dark in here. What's this book? The Night and the Knave. More tales of titillation. And uh, something on the floor that I can't quite make out. Another book, I guess, I can't read. I guess downstairs. Bedroom. More shutters that are open. Just with nothing on it. How about this banner, huh? Haha! The Lady of the Vines, Spicy Adventures. Well, that's their uh, stash of illicit reading material. And the stash of illicit, hopefully, money that I can't open. So. Must be a key around somewhere. Can I see on top of there? No. Anything around the bed? Where would they hide their key? In the darkness, clearly. Uh, I'm going to tweak my gamma because I really can't see here. There seems to be a lot of... Uh, Fan missions with a darker default than, uh, slightly better, a much darker default than uh, the original missions, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, awkward. No, I keep having to change my camera up and down or just peer very intensely. Make it out. What is this? Just a crate. Not hiding a key or anything. Well, if I'm gonna need a, a box. More crates. Good for stacking. More ledgers for walking over. Alright, this is where I came from. So that should actually give me access to the upper side of that archway. If I need it. I don't know if I need it. Does this? Is that the bedroom shutters? Probably. <laughs> Alright. But that doesn't give me the key. I'll take another little look around quickly. Um, there's probably not much loot I'm missing out of. Uh, if I can't find it. But it's just a little annoying. I like these uh, inset roofs though. Very simple. Very good looking. Is there something there? <laughs> well, hmm. I suppose it there and I'm just not able to see it, but I don't think so. And nowhere else the key could be hiding. I did check window ledgers, didn't I? Alright, I guess I'm not unlocking that box. I don't even know where we are, somewhere around here, I guess. That's the workstation. We came up here. Yeah, we came up here. Just up here, we need a key. Key, question mark, that'll do. Yeah, get up. So I'm gonna get my rope back. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't hear that. Careful, go. Right, now go back here. Yeah. Well, actually, can we go further up? I think we can, you know. Ooh. Oh. Something in the chimney. 
That's a gas arrow. Must be a gas fire. Haha. Alright. Pretty chunky fortifications for uh here, so fortifying nothing at all. I could make that jump probably, but I'm not sure if I can go anywhere from there. Hmm. Lots of layers on this street. Alright, where was I trying to go? I was gonna go back through the flat and onto that archway. Oh, this, is, this is gonna be dangerous, it might just slide all the way. Oh, alright. Good thing Gary has uh, uh, the feet of a mountain goat. Sometimes. The rest of the time he has the feet of an elephant trying to climb a tiny sapling. I was going to see if I can make a jump across there, right? Seems, seems unlikely now. Also seems perhaps pointless. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Alright, I think I'm done with that corner. Let's keep on going down the street. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yes. Whoop. Hello there. I'm not here. Did I go up those stairs? No, I went up there. Right, so I'm gonna go up the stairs. You haven't have a purse? No, you don't. Alright. And you're boring. Oh, that's right, just once. More cats. watching a banner, that's not good. Because the banner's gonna have to die, so that means the guard's gonna have to go to sleep. Well, there's a lot of guards there, I wonder what the place is. Is it marked on the map? I think that's the low courts. We're in Wellman Street now, I, I'm already lost. There's a fork here that's not shown. And now I'm facing east, alright, let's barber shop. God, where does this go? This goes everywhere. Oh look, there's more layers. <laughs> okay, we're overlooking some kind of hammer place right now. Wait, this doesn't go where I thought it did. Where is this? Where are we? Pretty grungy. The sorceress Scamagaze. Bother his entombment not, entombment not. For he who falls from righteousness shall doubtless rise up against his judgment. Mm. The sorceress tomb. In the middle of town. Our door's sealed shut. Keep the sorcerer out of the way. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Is this a tomb or is that a market? It looks like just a marketplace. Alright. With uh, nice projections to climb up or down. Oh, I'm so lost. Uh, is that seeing square? I guess it might be seeing square. In which case, we missed this Wellman Street. Uh, person was supposed to rob. And, uh... More markets. Oh dear! Wow, it's gonna take me a long time to explore, I think. Well, I was say, there's more upstairs? Maybe, maybe not. No, there's an open, it's just a ladder been drawn up so uh, whoever wants to climb up from below down there can't including me all right I could just jump down and get to the lower level but I don't think we're ready to go down yet uh, not even down there all right so that that sorcerer's tomb sign 
was uh, next to the door I actually came in from. Is this a sorcerer's tomb? I mean, down here? Oh. Oh. Oh, indeed. And how does one get in there? Is there a secret switch to open the trap door? This is interesting. Oh, wait, I know how I can look for secret switches. Using flares, that's the switch to open the uh, main door. Off there. Interesting. I don't see any switches. I just want to be a door that I can use. I could try just a water arrow on that brazier. If it goes through the bars. I'm not sure if it goes through the bars. It's probably an object. Well, didn't do anything. What if I wake him up? Oh, there's not much of him there, actually. Oh, this is a waste of arrows, so I'm going to reload. Shooting arrows for no particular purpose. If, if I did have an intentional purpose in mind and I miss, that's fine. But if I'm just experimenting, I'm happy to reload. Because who knows what the rules of their particular scripting setup is. Well, alright, so where's this looking out of? That's looking out of the square. So we've got a sorcerer's tomb here. Um, tomb. Tomb and doom and gloom. Very lots of gloom. Alright, careful. Don't run around off the edge. Something God likes to do is uh, run right off the edge of a place like this when he goes out. Oh. I don't know if there's anything in any of these niches. Nope. Well, there's a way in here. Alright. What's this place? Definitely ruined. Except for all oh, mine. Nice. Oh, that's an enormous crate. What's that? Oh, hello. What's down here? More ways to go. Oh dear. Alright, first let's check this lit passage. There's gas in there. All right, let's not check that lit passage. Let's try this way. I'm not guess. I don't know where Make sure I've got a quick exit if I need one. We got a pick. We got uh, some rubble that has fallen. Well, it fell from the ceiling, but someone's nicely swept into the corner. Wall with a few bricks missing. We got here another way down. Oh well, I'm not going to be this quick exit. Let's take it back and use it here. Oh, no. shut up, you! Yeah, that's just a bricked-up doorway. All right. What's this? A little shrine that's barred off. Interesting. Wow. Well, I'll take the gold. I guess I'm not getting the blessing of Saint Statue here. That's alright by me. The blessing of Saint Lucre. All my style, anyway. Let's make sure I'm not shooting into something that's not wood. So there's definitely stone there. <laughs> Alrighty. How are we doing? Because I've got 150. Okay, got a long way to go on our target, but you know. Hmm. It's very bright here. Feeling they're just gonna see me if they come back. 
Once I get the fury, I can't just walk over there and I'll fall down. Let's try it. Alright, better. Maybe. Whoops, wrong button. It's the end of that there. What, what was that key I got from you? Pub key! Is this the pub? It might, it might be the pub. Right, so we were just out there, right? So I don't need to explore that way. That's good news, I don't need to get back to our cane. Got my repairs, let's keep exploring. Well, all the tables are up on the... Chairs are up on the tables and uh, it's closed up for the night. But... Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that note? What's the tip about the pub? Uh, the tavern owner has grown fat and wealthy. He's seen drinking from fine golden cups for customers are scarce. Uh, reimbursed for espionage. So he has some secrets somewhere and some golden cups somewhere. Neither of which are really showing themselves here, are they? Suspicious. What's on the rafters? Aha. There's his golden cups. Anything else up here? These are chunky rafters. Good, uh, I guess considering how much of this, this uh, city is built on top of its, each other, different layers, I'm gonna need them. I'm just gonna stick a rope up right. This rope up here and climb up just to see if I missed anything that I'd be able to see better. Doesn't look like it. I'd say that's the pub. Done with the pub. Maybe there's more than that. Maybe he's got extra spy loot. I don't know, but... Maybe that was just the explanation for he got the gold. I don't know. So that's the tomb there, I guess. Oh, there's a door down the bottom. Okay, that's how I get in. Oh, he just had the sneak preview. Alright, we're not, I guess we're not going down there just, just yet. Uh, here's the barber shop. Oop. Oh, that's right, I wanted to check this place that's really heavily guarded. Do I see a way do I see a way in? Is that wood? Oh, that's all stone. I'm pretty sure from up there, I was up there earlier. I might have been able to find a way in, I don't know. Oops, a bit too bright. Hmm. Alright, let's let's get back around. Let's go into the house that we explored before. To get out the far side of it. Oh, sorry, to the top of it. God, I haven't gone that way either. Here we are. Let's go back on the roof here. And... Climb back up to that big, chunky, castle bit. Slowly. Come on, Garrett, you can do it. You can do it. There we are. So if I run all the way around here... Uh... Oh. Not other thing. Right, I'm gonna have to try to make the jump. Hmm, I can't actually jump from here. All right, I'll adjust. Oh, what is this? That is. Spooky. Um, I mean, is there anything I want down there? Let's find out what it is. Just spookiness. Just a spooky skeleton, huh? I know. Ow, 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 ow! Oh yeah. Fun. Ow. 
Ouch. It's only worth 100 gold, too. I'm not sure that's worth it. Uh, well, I guess ghosts. Ghosts will protect the treasure. Ouch. Alright. Probably better have both healing potions while I'm at it. Uh, so much for my uh, preparations early on. Now I'm up here. There's no, not even any windows in that yellow building I can get into. What about? Can I climb up, Garrett? What about climbing over there? I can probably get over. I think we're near the top of the uh, map here. Yeah, we're definitely near the top of the map. I can't actually. Oh. I can't move forward there. I'm getting stuck. What if I crash? There we are. <laughs> Not sure that was uh, an intended way forward, given that I got stuck. So there's a flickering torch and a door that's not a door. And it seems nothing else. Nothing that helps us get into this yellow building. Which is south of here. Oh well, I guess, uh, guess I'm going to try and get back. Because uh, going down there is going to be painful. Uh, or probably less painful than that haunt. Oh, can I, make, can I get back up there? Yeah, I should be able to. Crouch. Get back across. Um. There's nothing on the broken bridge, is there? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Is that the guy whose tomb we were supposed to avoid? No, because we went higher than him. I wonder if he. He died when I uh, left the place. I wonder if he wakes up if I go back. Probably not. Probably not. Can I drop down there safely? Oh, that's where I got up here from. So of course I can. Uh, but then what? I'm not gonna make that, am I? I'm not gonna make that. No, I'm not gonna make that. I'm gonna die! Alright, let's try the let's try the broken bridge. That's the way of getting down. Because there's no wood around for rope arrows, so. Careful. Alright, and then. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, sing it to yourself again. Okay, that's too bright. Get out of the right, get out of the... There we are. Where's the archer that was around here before? I don't know. Can I just knock this guy out? Speak of the devil. Uh, there's an archer, and it's a guy with the Latin. And I think he's coming this way. No, he's going back. Well, he's definitely. Oh, there's the archer. Everyone's coming at once! I'd say Latin man's definitely a liability. And so is Mr. Uh, ranged attack here. What's there? Nothing. Nothing making noise now. There's nothing here at all. Just because I'm well, that's a bad spot to leave him because I guess a lantern man would actually spot bodies if he walks past them thanks to his lantern. It's probably better because I don't think he comes here. Alright. Two people to worry about there. See if Lantern Man is nearby. We're not, because I came up here earlier. So he'll be patrolling down that way. So he'll probably turn up just in time. Ooh, there's a guard there too. Oh no, he's not a guard, he's a noble sort of fat man. I think this is his house. Well, is he in a spot if I knock out the guard? Probably will, you know, unless patrolling sword man does not have a very long patrol route. Hmm. 
I should look to see if there's another way in. Let's stick to the shadows. Let's go around the other side. I can always come back and deal with them if I need to. More guards. Wow, everybody's on the street today. It's harder and harder to be get, get an honest living as an honest thief. I'll tell you that. City watch, and there's other guys, I guess, uh, Mr. Fancy Pants's uh, private guards here. Should have gone for it while he's walking away from the guy. Hmm. I'll follow him and I'll wait till he's down in a nice dark corner. And then, you know, introduce him to my friend. My little friend that likes to kiss guards in the back of the neck. Like that. Quite That's quite enough. Oh, lovely dark corner. It's a good place to stash a body. Uh. Right, nobody will see him there. Oh, more public works. Where's my key? Now, just because public works doesn't mean the sewers, but this is going down. Suggesting perhaps there are metal. Great. No, the ladder goes up. What have we got? Water! Water arrows. It's no sewer, but uh, it's steaming water. Anything up here? Right. There's a hatch, doesn't open. Hmm. I can't climb in that water, to be honest. I can. Just have a nice hot bath. Look at that. It's the stink of the streets off me. Alright. Not sewers, that's good. I, I'm glad to see a city level without sewers. Everybody does sewers. Alright, here's Mr. Rich Man's house. I can see a uh, ledge actually up above me. ledges and pipes crossing over the way and place for beam for ropes to attach in the beams here. You know what I think? We're climbing. Oh, can I make that jump and grab my arrow? Always a question. Where did I land on? A street sign. <sighs> Wow, that's lucky. Probably works fine. Uh, uh, that was less lucky. Oh well, no, I'm done. Let's try that differently. Try from the corner past the pipe since I can't get around the pipe. You're too high. I hit my head on the thing and don't make the distance. There we are. That's the way it's done. And I've still got my ropes. Oh, he's got a secret passage into the back of his house. How convenient. I was saying to his money vault, but no, it's just the kitchen or something. And I'm being noisy. Not coming in here, are you, Dad? That sounds very noisy. No. There seems to be a tile floor here. Let's be quiet. Let's be careful. Oh. I can go drop down there, but if I do that, I'm not getting back off. Let's see what we got out here first. Want 
put things down gently going and not throw them all the way across the room. Um. Hmm. It's quite a long way down. Should I try it? What if I drop a couple of boxes down first? They should at least make, break my fall, right? Oh, there's the ladder. I'm an idiot. There's a secret invisible ladder. This isn't serious, is it? Yeah, I feel, feel stupid with these boxes here. I think I can get in my way if I actually need to give the ladder. Well, it's just old ruined uh, buildings below the city, I think. Moss arrows on the ceiling. It's neat. Oh, and uh, over there, it's a wooden ceiling. I don't need to go back for a crate. Mossy ceiling with mossy arrows. Take them. Don't mind if I do. Where's the best place to climb up here? Probably this side's cleanest. Thank you. Oh wait, where are we? Huh. It's like, what's that up there? Have I been here? No, this is not familiar. Oh, we're up above where we went in. Well, didn't really give us access to Mr. Richman's house, but, um... Gives us access to uh, this bit of the street, but... Whatever good that does me! Uh, I don't think I can get up there. Well, actually, I can get up there. That's wood. I don't think it does me any good to get up there because now I can see out of level. Very nice skyboxer. Excellent skyboxer. I wonder if you made that. And. Ooh. Oh, I recognize that roof. That's where we climbed up before, right? So we've been up there. There's no real point being here, although it's a quick way to back, I guess. If I'm willing to risk hurting myself some more. Well, oh, I didn't mean to go all the way. Oh, it's teeth. What was I saying about mountain goats? The goat doesn't even know what they are, let alone having their feet. Alright, now for Rich Man's house. I think the only way I'm going to get in here is by. He didn't see anything. So if I wait for uh, Swordman, the trolley Swordman, to get back, then I can go in there. More importantly, then I can destroy the banner! Himself was too far away to notice us, so let's 
he was dark enough. Now it's time to do the same with Mr. Swordman. Oh, that's too bright. And then if Rich Man gets upset, we can just go bonk him on the head and problem solved. This a thief I see before me? It is. How did you guess? Oh, and he's got another banner from his slash already. First, let's take his uh, kill there, slash his banners. Death to all banners. Ah, doors not open, he's got no more loot there. And nothing really of interest up above, okay. I've been in here, right? This is just, yeah. It's just where I was throwing boxes around. Slash the banner! And then I'll read the part. What does it say? The coronet, one in spirits, served all night. Alright, so it's... Public place, maybe I would have been welcome here, you know? Maybe. So if that's all the loot there was, then I guess it would be possible to... Probably lean forward here, or at least do a very quick climb, snatch, back, hop back down. But oh well, I didn't know. Whoa, 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 it's uh, Latin man. Alright, he's turned around and he's going back. While he's there, I really should take this opportunity to do something about him. Oh, he's got a bloody. Good thing I noticed. He's got one of those uh, nasty helmets on. I can't hit him on the head. It'll just go clang like a big bell. I love everybody in the district, including him. He'll make some jocular remark about my inability to knock him out. And then he'll try to uh, cut my entrails out. Don't think that's the way I want us to go. All right, let's just make sure nobody sees the bodies from the street. So... We're at the coronet. Uh, we haven't even got here yet. So it must be this corner. So I kind of just still want to go east. This map is really inadequate, you know. Someday you'd think Garrett would actually, you know, make friends with a actual cartographer worthy of the name. And just get them to map out the whole city. That'll be a map worth seeing. Right, what have we got? I don't know where this street goes and where Latin Man lives. Here's the tomb. That's sealed up. Not even providing a dark shadow. Right, a few footsteps to the east. I think that's where Latin Man went. Here's the little marketplace. Expect the stalls are empty, not even a spare half rotten cucumber for me, huh? <laughs> so there's all these projections, you know, I can climb back up there to get back to the tomb if I need to. But I don't need to right now because I don't know how to get in. And I may never find out. What do we got here? Oh, the stall doesn't open. Wait, so that can't be here. It's on the Square, right? See on the Square should have three roads connected to it. Seeing Square, I'm reading the thing all wrong. So we got Latin Man this way. Somewhere. Oh, there's a shrine I robbed. From above. Have been up there? Man. Hey, nice dark corner. Even he won't find his hair. Not sure how neither of them really noticed me there. That's lucky. I don't have any, uh, anything to eat, do I? No. Better be careful about heights. Alright, Mr. Lantern. Go 
Doing your rounds. Take your time, please. <gasps> this guy won't see me. If I do that. But once again, I need to be careful about where I leave the body. It's not just I leave it in a dark corner. Be dark corner is a fellow with Latin might be looking. Like there. Alright, you'll wake up underneath that pipe in the morning wondering what happened. There's a bit of a headache, but you'll have a nice pipe to wash his uh, head under. Alright, Highgate enter shop entrance. So that's one way round to the user's house. Uh, dog has run, Tim's lives here. Maybe we can say hello to Tim's. Oh, it's the same gate. I can pick this one. Where does this go? Just go to Tim's place. Maybe we can rob Tim's. I'm gonna need a key for that. Where does this ladder go? Vines, and there's a window up there. I think it's a kind of drunk guard on the roof. <laughs> we do indeed. I'm going to greet him presently. What do we got here? More ways to go. Oh, that's not a way to go. Because these roofs are where to go. <laughs> They look a little bit steep, perhaps. But you know, I'm gonna risk it. I could go on it. It'd be pointless, though. It's only noisy. Yeah, I don't wanna go down that one. That's too, that is definitely too steep. Where's that going? It's going back west. What's west from here? All right, let's 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 explore. We can come back. There's a ladder. Let's see what it connects to. There's a Latin man again. His way back. Where the hell are we? Wait, this isn't the tomb, is it? Before. Yeah, I came here before. I just didn't notice that passageway then. Huh. Wait, maybe I didn't notice this passageway? Of course I would have noticed that. Unless that's where I went down. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. So the answer is just connected to somewhere I've already been, so that's okay. Whew. Oh! Didn't see that before. Oh, Mr. Guard, are you wanting to fight? Ah! You are. Can you actually fight me? I don't know, but I don't really have the health to risk finding out. Ah, <laughs> certainly don't have the intelligence to follow me. Well, he's hunting for me, but he's not going to find me. He's given up. It's just in, a, just in your imagination. Sleep. Love less of a hangover that way. Didn't need to do that. I got the money already. But all right. Can I get in there? Nope. All right. Just, just, 
shutters at a you know promising height that turn out to be devoid of useful promise. Now where's this ladder? Uh, yeah. God, this, this, is, this is the scariest thing. Let me down these ladders. Like... Ah! Like that. Let's try going from this side. It should be easier, yeah. Alrighty. Oh. Ah! He says. Ladders, huh? You know, guys faced zombies, barracks, hordes of guards, the finest guards has faced uh, gods, you know, the trickster. The one thing that can kill him more reliably than anything else is ladders. Oh, those keys fit. Alright. All right, where are we, by the way? Here, uh, this is where Tim's live, so, uh, dogs run. So boarded up door. Does look like it. I wonder if I can break the boards. So, if, uh... I don't know what I'm saying. But if that's Tim's place there, what the key's for? Well, it's a bullet up door. Uh, but it still doesn't open. Just goes clang. Alright. So much for that. Just decorative boards then. So I don't think I can get in there. On this side. Unless I'm missing something. Just a sewer. Steaming away, not a gas arrow. Here whistling. Shop bell. Ooh, someone put money in the fountain. Could be a nasty guy there. Let's creep over this. What was that about? That could be. Maybe replace that with there is a nasty guy there. Although. He saw me, got angry, and now he's happily whistling again. Does this make sense to me? Nope. Whatever. Oh, hello. I wonder what's up with that plant, what's up with that plant patch. Shall we go say hello to Mr. To Mr. Plant? Aha! Oh, is he gonna cook it on the roof there? I'm not sure I'm supposed to. On the other hand, a level like this, you think, you know, if you can get somewhere, then you're definitely meant to get there. <laughs> or not. Uh, I'm not dead, so I can't reload. <laughs> my own stupid rules. Alright. Here's Garrett, with one hit point. I'm trying to get his rope back. And not hurt himself in the fall. Good job, Garrett. Good job. I think we can go up there, though. Looks a bit safer. Alrighty. Oh. So you go in there, breaking that door, but the door doesn't open. Get on the wall. Nope. This is the edge of the city, this wall. What's the bloody use of this balcony then? Uh, am I going to kill myself getting down? I don't think so. Oh well, maybe I am. I don't think so, he says. Okay, I didn't save. Oh! I didn't save after I fell. I hadn't even got this bottle yet, I guess. Alright. Note to self, don't climb up on the roof of this building. It'll do you no good. Oh, I had got the bottle, alright. Second note to self. Don't uh, bother climbing up on that other balcony over there because there's nothing up there. Oh, we do have a lockbox though. Okay, I'm gonna need a key. Alright. 
So we're heading now. Oh, well, if we keep going this way, oh, that's that's that to High Town. All right, so we're gonna if we keep heading this way, we're gonna get to the Yusra's house from the wrong side. Now there may be a works area, but see, I'm gonna take a peek. More metal. Can't hear any guards. Ah, oh, there we are. Oh, he's got a big fancy house too. And, uh, just water there. Alright. Let's not go that way. Following the original plan, we'll head around west, back. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, I didn't notice this doorway before. Just got our friend here. Hello, friend. <coughs> What's your note say? Mr. Stelby, I understand your concern about the key, but let us be realistic. It is safe where it is, and if the need arises, it can be fetched in a minute or so. If you really have to see one of your wealthy patients at this hour, just check with Officer Lannett. He's patrol in Wellman Street and will gladly be of your surface. Service. Sincerely, Sergeant Orris. Hmm? Wait, is that Lantern Man has the key? I didn't check his pockets. Uh, but Lantman, I mean, I picked up a key off the guard, but that was the pub key. I think. Alright, keep an ear open for a Lantern Man, but. Lantern Man has the key we need. That's there. He comes as far as this room. So that's southish, right? Southeast, yeah. So Lantern Man's this way. No, not this way. What's this way? It's a broken down wall. Oh good, I'm lost. Never make never make a place that looks like a circle. Yeah, northwest, alright. This is if Lantern Man is coming, then he's probably going to see me. I may not have a place to hide soon enough. I think that's him. Footsteps approaching. Does he have a key? He does indeed have a key. Alright. Time. To lie in wait for our friend with the Latin. Um, we'll just nip the key off it. We'll wait till he goes up into the square and comes back. Nip the key off his belt and uh, make our way back to Highgate. I don't know why I want the key to Highgate, but it's a big gate. It's locked. If it's locked, I should try and unlock it. Hello, Sergeant Stebbins, or whatever your name was. Get a move on there. I need you to come back on your rounds. See, right? He doesn't go any further than the square, does he? Well, he goes round it, at least. Does he turn off? Maybe he just goes round. If I'd known that, I would have followed him round here and, uh... Picked it on the, picked it up on the way, but never mind. A bit late now, let's stick with plan A. And it's gonna be back. Yo, 
You don't mind if we just take that with you, sir? Thank you. Well, we've got the key to High Town. I don't know why I need it. But I can get my, find my way back to that gate. Uh, all the way along here. Well, not quite all the way. But most of the way along here. There's a nice balcony, but I don't think I can get up there. Yeah. And then once again, now what do I need to do that for? Well, that one doesn't, not interactive. Wait, is that... No, I need to get the down lock. Oh well, uh... Half the, half the way to High Town is open. Congratulations. Visitors of High Town, you'll not quite get there because there's not the there's not the gate that doesn't open. But you can get some of the way. I hope that's fun. Alright. Now we're going what? Uh so now we go southeast from here. Okay. Alright, uh, actually I'll just this way. Alright, um, I'm going to cut this episode here, and I will see you for the next episode.